Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 25th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, Solar Dynamics Observatory, producing these images as we do have sunspots turning away in a very quiet earth-facing disk except for coronal holes. We do also have an M-class solar flare to talk about, but that was not in an earth-facing direction, nor is it visible here. As it did produce the M-class solar flare in an outgoing fashion, having a look here at those active sunspot regions turning away, one on the left had that large plasma filament jump across the surface of the sun and then watch on the left hand side and the right for those most recent solar flares M class and C class having a look at multi-spectrum here you can see where the coronal holes are darkened regions equatorial and another one building there cresting around the equatorial region of our sun Notable that big blast in the northeast region. Having a look here at our sun in another light, 171 angstroms this time. This is where we can see all of the plasma ropes getting busy in an outgoing fashion. Amazing images here. Really grateful to be able to share this with you. If you're enjoying this video and the information shared, hit the thumbs up, please. Let us all know how much you love what we do here with Daily Events Worldwide. Really grateful to have you all tuning in and as well subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you so much. Having a look here at our solar x-ray flux as it is in the C range right now after seeing the M class and two C class solar flares. Solar x-ray flux is low and the geomagnetic activity hopping up to KP2 there and minor radio blackout impacts are expected here from that long duration M-class solar flare today. You can see the proton absorption map here showing the impact. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 434 kilometers per second after bumping up and down the last 24 hours. Wind speeds topping 543 kilometers per second. Notable the polarities in the north and the south right now. Heads up. Hopping and a bopping. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing yesterday's event. CME taking off towards Mercury. Outgoing fashion. And we are expecting coronal hole wind streams as we speak. Looking at Lasco 2, showing the sun's energy taking off the last two days. A little bit sped up there. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. And that's two days in a row now. It's been at 7. Low telemetry here. Quality of 8.3. Power 4. Amplitude 7. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've seen an increase and then it dropped again and we're sitting at about 200 earthquakes across the USGS map around the world. We're going to start out here with the most recent 4.7 Mariana Islands region, 35 kilometer depth as well. A pretty deep earthquake here, Japan, a Bonin Islands region, 500 kilometer depth, notable 5.5 King Dang, China, as well a 5.3 here. Western China, Mongolia, largest earthquake on the planet today, 5.9 in Largos, Greece, and as well, Malta still seeing earthquakes, 4.0 rang out there today. Carrying on here, Indonesia still seeing a lot of activity through the Banda Sea, Papua New Guinea, a couple minor earthquakes there, but deep, and as well, the deepest earthquake today, or Deepest earthquake in Fiji region, 494 kilometer depth. Also seeing an increasing activity activity into the Kermadex. Southeast wrist, rift of Hawaii. Seeing activity today, largest being a 3.6. Quiet through Alaska. And then we get to North American plate. And it started out hairy this morning 
4.2 Rock in Malibu Beach, California. That's right, right off the coast. Los Angeles, California. 2.8, 2.6, and a 4.2 Malibu Beach, California. Notable earthquake here, 3.5, center of Oklahoma. Ecuador, 4.6. And Puerto Rico seeing activity today, but it has calmed down a little bit. And then very quiet across South American plate after seeing the large 6.3 yesterday. Only a 4.4 there in northern Peru. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Give you a quick browse at the last seven days across the world. Noting all of the inactivity towards the Cascades. And across the North American plate. Also noting all of the deep earthquakes recently coming out of Fiji, Banda Sea, and as well northwestern China towards Afghanistan. And increasing activity all across the Mediterranean and through Greece. Heads up, Cascades, way overdue. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world. Pretty tightly whipped low-pressure system in the Atlantic right now. And then watching some pretty vigorous systems heading towards Alaska, or sorry, Iceland, in this long range. But we're going to carry on here with the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Nevada's de Ruiz in Colombia. Krakatoa in Indonesia. Sabincaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. 220 active hazards across the world, and that's including tornado warnings across the U.S., multiple flood warnings across South America and Africa, extreme cold warnings getting ready to move into Canada, Swiss and Najima in Japan, and Popo in Mexico. So that's only about six volcanoes getting updated today amongst that I know of the active in erupting 45 that are across the planet. Just way too many alerts to go through here. Continuing on here, looking at satellite imagery. Vigorous system affecting the southeastern and northeastern United States and Ontario. Looking across the Pacific. Very big and strong systems coming out of China the last few days and then whipping around and hitting parts of eastern Russia. High winds and surf for Hawaiian Islands. Overlooking Africa, India. Tropical cyclone Chiniso is still alive. Category 2 right now ravaging the west coast of Madagascar. And then look at these systems moving up into Greenland. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait until I show you the windy models coming up from windy.com. But first, we're going to share the snowfall totals after these winter storms have swept through the nation. Looking at 12 hours, 24 hours, the next three days, and the next 10 days. Expected 27 centimeters of snow over the next five days. Could see up to almost two feet through parts of Ontario and northeastern United States and in the Atlantic provinces, about 50 centimeters. Light snowfall totals through Alberta, but northwestern United States, you're going to get it hammered this week. Carrying on here, I'd like to show you the windy models brought to you by windy.com. Watching that system come out of North America and heading towards Greenland. And then watch as all these systems start tracking straight towards Iceland. We've got one system there. Very strong winds and low pressure center heading right over top. Another one there by next Sunday. And then a very big one by Tuesday. And then another one for the weekend after that. So Iceland has got a round of storms heading towards you. Very strong winds and blizzard-like conditions, I'm sure. 
and then overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Large, vigorous low coming out of China, as I mentioned earlier. Long-range forecast does not seem to change. These systems just keep swirling out of China and then up into eastern Russia. Quick glance at the southern hemisphere. Looking underneath Australia. If you want to check out the full weather forecast for precipitation totals, not much has changed since last night's video. So if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. Pretty intense system heading towards the Mediterranean next week as well. Much love, everybody. Stay safe out there. Stay aware and prepared. I'm going to leave you here looking at global temperatures as we do have an extreme weather event heading into Canada and the United States. Minus 27 here by the long range forecast coming up into next week. But not before Chinook moves into Alberta and then high pressure ridge builds in and all those extreme temps funnel down. So heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared, stay warm and careful out there on the roads. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button, like button and maybe share with a friend or family. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.